Hello. I'm Raywood, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. Today, we started off down here in Astoria, and I think it's because we were just doing some quests in the last episode, but it's been a bit since I've played, and I don't recall for 100%. But, there is a Go Kill the, uh, the Bandits quest down here that Darius was working on. So, we might have to wait around and see if he can come join us, and we'll go kill the bounties, or the bandits together. In the meantime, ooh, this is where you get goats. I haven't seen goats before. I don't spend a whole lot of time in Astoria. And I cannot jump that fast. Alright. I like how you can walk through the barn to get in here. That's cool. I am jealous of the game's ability to put these up against walls. Like, these poles seem to prevent me from putting anything up against the wall like this. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. These guys are pretty cute. Look at that. How can you say no to that? Okay. I will be back in a minute when Darius gets on and I still can't jump over that fence. I'm used to these fences I can jump right over. So I'm going to wander around and see what Astoria has to offer in the meantime. Well, I'm walking around, I want to take a moment and talk about my recent videos. So, I had that trouble where my audio got messed up for like five of the Medieval Dynasty videos, and I couldn't put them out. So I switched over and started doing some Valheim videos again, which I've been loving. But, last week I didn't put out any videos at all, because I'm trying to focus on getting this 100 days video done. It is taking way more work than I expected. I am hoping to get it done this weekend, but it's probably not going to happen. Uh, so, today's video is going to be very editing light, and hopefully that's okay. So since I'm going light on editing this time anyways, I'm kind of curious how the video is going to do. Let me know if you like it, or if you like the more edited version. And yeah, drop a comment down in the comment section. Anyways, it's going to be all for now. I'm going to get this video edited so I can get back to working on the 100 days. I want to be able to take the straw hats off of the, uh, the scarecrows. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be a cool hat. Actually, it looks like it's made out of leather, too. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well, one day. I've got great news. What's that? We can get the wide bridges! Yay! I won't be able to get those for a few days and we just have been ignoring it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. For uh, today's episode, you had that uh, get rid of the bandits in your story quest that you wanted some help with? Or yeah. said it wouldn't it hurt? Uh, I happen to be in Astoria. Wow, she's oh, expensive. Okay. Yes, they Jeez. are. Jeez. Where, where's a baby sheep? Alright, and I'm back. We got Rave here. He's going to be helping us out with the bandits as well, because he was in Astoria, so... Yep. I think I finished off the uh, Apple Thief quest or something down here. I was oh, down yeah. here for some sort of quest. That you running through the trees? Uh, potentially. It looks like you, maybe. I'm up on a hill. Oh no, that isn't you. Oh okay. It was going sideways to the road. Gotcha. You were that way. Yep. I'm standing like right outside the area. Occasionally uh, shooting at foxes because I don't think I've ever actually killed a fox. They are such a pain in the butt. Oh, I've killed one now. Nice. Ooh, got him right in the neck. Uh, there's a in-game achievement for killing one of each animal. So oh, okay. I've got to hunt down a few different animals. Alright, I'm at... When I run out of things to do in my 100 days game, I'm going to have to do that. All right, I'm off to your left. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Oh, I took off Honker Head. I see that. They released the story of how he came around, too. Oh, did they? Yeah, it's up on uh, Steam. Nice. Whoa. What? Someone shot at me. Oh, yeah, there. I see him. Ah, your hit knocked him out of the way for my hit. But I will take the wooden bolts. And let me grab my bolts out of his neck. Yep. That was my other arrow. The downside of both selling arrows and uh, using yeah. arrows as your primary is yeah. I accidentally sold most of my poison copper arrows. So I've only got like four left. Whoa! Oh, hi. There's a lot of you. I forgot to reload my crossbow. Good job. Alright, one down. Two down. Three down. Alright, we're clear. Alright. Roasted meat. Back. And you grab all that stuff fast. You have a wooden right. bolt in the sketch space over here. What a scorcher. That was a good shot. <laughs> yeah, it was. And there's one in this guy's butt. I think we're all done killing bandits. For now. Yep. I'm going outside to loot. Sounds good. I'm gonna head to Astoya to f hopefully finish the quest, but who knows. Oh wait, no. This isn't gonna be Astoya. This is gonna be... I have to go all the way back to Piastovia. Oh. Cause Fun. I... It ran away. That's right. I remember this now. Man, I love the sound effects inside of caves. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you got the echo of the footsteps. You, uh, do something like equip or unequip the torch, and there's the echo. And then you got the wind howling through the cave. It's yeah. great. They did a lot of good work on this game. Like, I'm really impressed with it. It is really well done. All right, well, that was not much to loot. I don't even know what my here. Nice. I have no idea where my donkey is. Guess I could probably look on the map and find that out. Yeah. Hello! The Oxbow is safer than it was when we spoke before. Is it really? Did you hire mercenaries to help you deal with the bandits? Are they all gone? How can I believe you? Do you want to come with me and see for yourself? No, that won't be necessary. I see no hesitation in your voice, and the stains and bruises on your hands speak for themselves. That's enough for me. I'll be on my way back soon, as promised. It's comforting to have someone like you on our side. Don't forget to vote. Wait, right, he ran away. He was one of the election yeah. people. Yeah, okay. I haven't done this quest yet in my 100 Days game. I never actually did it. Um, I And mine, I actually got... I didn't realize that there was going to be one big quest per area, mm -hmm. and so I only did one, so I only had one option. Oh, yeah? Who do you like? The Slava... Yeah, from, uh... Klonica. Yes. I 
saw her name on there. I'm like, all right, who else we got? Yeah. All right, Radamilla says hello, and it says, The sap Master of Ceremonies told me you are still hesitant to vote. Ah, yes, I almost forgot about it. It'll be my first time voting, you know, but I'm really busy right now, as there are some important chores that can't wait. Ah, you made me lose focus. What was I about to do? How long does it take to toss a stone? Just go do it already. No, stones can wait. What's the hassle about, anyways? We if you care so much about my vote, help me finish my preparations. I mean, my chores. Everything needs to be wrapped up before the ceremony. What's so important? The details are not your concern. Just know that you have a lot to do before the celebration kicks in for good. Here, take this dress and get it to the seamstress. It'll, uh, I'll take care of my hair in the meantime. They're in awful state. Alright, I'll pass it on to her. Really hard to jump on their heads. Yes, it is. Let's see. 30 meters this way. At least I don't have to travel to another town for this one. Yeah, it gets tedious. Okay, where is my donkey? Is it for me? A lady named Radamilla sent me to bring you this dress for sewing up. Again? Show me this rag. That smell. Oh gosh. When will the last start to take care of herself like a proper lady? She's always so giddy and carefree. Any moment now she'll hurt herself again. But we wouldn't like that to happen, would we? Come back later, sweetie. I'll handle the dress. Back to Radamilla. Hello! Your clothing, it, clothing is in good hands now. Of course it is. She's the Master Needlewoman. Unfortunately, that's all of the abilities that fate has given her. But let's get back to work. I need eight vases for flowers that I gathered. A trip to the city is not an option for me. I promise not to hit the trail for a while, and I still have more chores in the village. Um, oh, and I need four honeycombs as well. Amelia always gets on my nerves about my smell, so now I'll, I'll be sweet and floral all over. Wait, would that attract bugs too much? Whatever, I'll worry about that later. Now, the most, most important thing is for you to gather all the necessary items. Oh, that's mean to say. I don't think any amount of honey will be able to fight this stench. <laughs> <laughs> is that all? Maybe a fancy mare to match the rest? Don't mock me. Do you want me to use my voting stones or not? The sooner you go, the sooner we are finished. Oh, and by the way, collect my dress from the seamstress on the way back. Safe journey. Well, luckily we can just make most of that stuff. Yep. What else does she want? Then show me online. Oh, I don't actually have a list. Uh, it was honeycomb and flower pots. And the basket, wasn't it? Um. <laughs> oh, I missed. Wait, science reputation negative 50? What are you doing? Nothing. I just got a bunch of free clothes. I was told to grab the uh, dress from the <laughs> line. There was a bunch of clothes on the line that I could also take. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm allowed to steal in this game. <laughs> yeah, but you're not allowed to get caught. I mean, <gasps> no one was around. Was Clearly the they were. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was the quest negative reputation because I stole the clothes. Uh-huh. Alright, so we need eight clay vases and four honeycombs. Yep. I'm heading to the village. But we now have a felt vest, a pair of thick leather gloves, and a cap. Ah. Yeah, well it's dress. Don't we both already have thick leather gloves? And I think you have a felt uh, vest? I do have a felt vest, but mine was stolen. This is still stolen. This one doesn't say it's stolen, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Alright. Um. 
Um, oh yeah, bring it to the wrong town. In the wrong direction. Where's my donkey? <laughs> Come here, Jerry. Ah, my donkey must be in Piastovia. Down, cat, down. Just flying up and clawing at my arm. Unless, um, oh. did you. Hello, Jeff? Did you leave your. or did you reclaim your donkey after you used mine? Uh, yeah. Okay. I believe so. I'm gonna go with yeah. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure it teleported back to the uh, village. That's right. Out of there. Okay, I need to go north of the bus. Oh, that's straight through wolf and bear territory. No, thank you. Running out foot is terrible. Deadly Night Shade. Yeah, I, I ended up getting uh, Pal World. I got that two days ago. And yesterday I was talking to one of my friends. And I was like, yeah, I've already recorded three episodes for it. And he's like, didn't you just get it yesterday? I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it just means you're enjoying it. Oh yeah, that game. I I like it almost as like as much as I like Medieval Dynasty. Medieval Dynasty has become my favorite game. Yeah. Yeah. Like there is not I I definitely like this game a lot. There's a few things that I would like improved on it like uh the rating system from Valheim would be really cool in this. Mhm. Mm but, kind of disappointed that doesn't sound like it comes into play later on. Yeah, but I also kind of understand why it doesn't, you know, have it. I just wish there was uh, at least more randomness in, like, when danger could happen. Yeah. But oh, speaking of danger, uh, I'm in big territory apparently. Yay! Where are you, piggies? But yeah, that's honestly oh, about the only thing I would like um, added to the, the game, is just a little more randomness. Yeah, I'm getting good with these spears. Digging out two wolves and three, uh, or two wolves and a board with only tossing a spear three times. So that's one toss each. Um, wouldn't that be painful, Mr. Villager? He's got what? the... There's a villager in our village who's walking around making sweeping noises and hunched over, and he's got his torch with the burning part of it in his armpit. Oh. Or going, clipping through the shoulder and burning the top of the shoulder. Either way. I really hope I get teleported home because... Okay, thank goodness. Well. So much for my spending all that time walking home. Uh, 
I had just gotten attacked by two bears. <laughs> oh. Good job. All right. Okay. Uh, you want to grab the honeycomb and I go make some clay bases? Sounds good to me. on the pottery wheel. Oh, we have to buy the clay base recipe yet. Oh, I'm glad I came to talk to, uh, her before heading up to Piestovia because she needs me to talk to Sedwin. No. Oh. Most of the time when I get have billard requests is for alcoholics. Yeah, this one is uh, she's got a rash and she thinks she's gonna die. Yeah, I've got that one several times too. Come on, don't get. Let's go. That and the milk of the poppy. Like a cheese, I have quite a bit of it. Although most I of it's actually not any good, so good cheese. Most of the stuff is going to give significant amounts of poisoning. I actually found out that even if you eat fully fresh vegetables, if that's all you eat, you will give yourself poisoning. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I went. I tried to go from like zero all the way up to a hundred in it. It was just a little bit of poisoning, but mm -hmm. yeah, it, it definitely gave me some poisoning. That's Which makes perfect. sense. Shoving like 600 carrots down your gullet definitely would not make you feel very good. No, no, that's not ideal. Yeah. Okay, you said that you're going up to PSW? Yeah. Why are you heading up there? Uh, to buy the honey. We should have more honey come left from the, uh, being archer quest. Oh. Yeah, hmm. go check it out. Okay. And the, uh, pots are in the, the chest for ya. Okay. Like, storage. Yay. I actually have to run up to PSW though. The quest that I was working on leads me up there. Alright, um, go ahead and talk to Sidewind while you're there then. Yeah, I will. I'm taking the two iron eyes and the breath taker out of storage to make sure that they don't get used. Okay. I'm gonna put them in the chest outside of the storage area. Those uh, two iron eyes are pretty heavily used. And would be great for when we get the um, the totem. Um, 
was the honeycomb in the storage or was it in the food storage? Uh, it's not in regular storage, so it should be in food storage. Okay, but it's probably been eaten. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, then I guess you're off to PSW too. Yep. Claws cat. Also kind of frustrating because it is so hard to get an apiary. Yeah. But actually, we are kind of low on buckets. Oh, are we? Yeah, we only have like seven or so in here. Probably eight. For some reason, we have two empty buckets. Huh. Go stick those in the appropriate place. That may mean that we ran out of, uh, space. Mm-hmm. That's probably what it means. Alright, Radamilla, here is your stuff. She says, wonderful. I've also been busy gathering everything that I need. It's going to be perfect. One last task for you. Take all these things and bring them to the meeting stones in the, the orchard. It's a quiet... Apparently somebody peed in her laundry. Um, it's a quiet place without any praying eyes. When you're there, put the wine jug on the left side of the juice flagon on its right. Flower vases should stand in the back. Don't make any rearrangements. Will it take long? Okay. I can't say a bad word about our king. I can't say a good word either. We also have no food. Uh oh. Yeah, we have no water and no food. Oh no. I think it's not reading properly for me because I'm joined into the world. Uh, but still, we have no, uh, like, super anything in the, the food storage. there with Radamilla. Um, he said she needs to be resting. She says she feels fine. Well, well, well. Oh. Oh, she's pregnant. How terrible. Yeah. 
Why am I so overweight? The king is the king. As long as he doesn't poke his nose into my business, I don't poke my nose into his. Surrogate. Surrogate, huh? They didn't Sounds exactly have a veto fertilization back then. Yeah. Um, so Ludomir is uh, the seamstress's husband, and she's been wanting a child, apparently. Yeah. And so. Radamilla apparently had a kid with Ludomir, but I think she fell in love with him because she wanted me to make this meeting place all special for them. Mm-hmm. The way to one's heart is through their stomach. glitched out. That's kind of good. Yep. So we won't be able to finish it right now. I'll have to wait for it to be able to reload it in. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Can't leave in the area for a while. Unlocked the sewing hut level two though, so that's good. Good. Probably for my massive amount of uh, cooking I just did. Yeah. Because I just made fifty-five pottage. Yeah, it's time to go make some bowls. Can't remember. Bowls need planks or logs. I think it's logs. Or. No, I don't need bowls, I need, um, uh, buckets.
All right, well, I think we got the gold done. We, we got most of the quest. Oh, I just left the realm. Um, we got that quest done, and or as done as we can right now. Yep. So. And I have the village running better, although yep. we haven't done the repairs yet. That's all right. Yeah. Well. Yeah, well, got a bunch of stuff on you. Thank you guys for joining us today. If you enjoyed the episode, slap a like, comment, and subscribe. But as always, until next time, keep on surviving. And have Goodbye. fun gaming.